Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Jimmy Dore Show. Holy cow. The NFL has responded. They've responded to Trump uh, saying that goofy stuff about Colin Kaepernick. Well, let's start out here. Let's start out. Here's some pictures. Here's a picture for you. So that's the Jaguars. And that's uh, Omar Shahid Khan. He links arms with the Jacksonville Jaguar players. So that's another way of protesting. They do the arm link. Uh, I'd prefer a kneel. But I guess I'll take whatever you can get. So that's the owner. What do you think of that? That's the owner, huh? Um, can you find there's the owner for the Patriots? He came out with a statement. So here's also, uh, here's because here's the Patriots. They're kneeling down too. Look at that. A lot of them. Here's a singer. Is at the Detroit game. So a guy who sang the national anthem after he did sang it did does this. Nice. Kneels down, gives the thing. Combining the Olympics protest. What's that singer's name? Rico Lavelle. Rico Lavelle. Good on you, Rico Lavelle. Nice going. You know me, I get a total charge out of this stuff. So nice to see people fighting against actual power and people risking things. Like, he's risking doing that. He could be blackballed from the NFL. He'll probably never be allowed to sing again at the NFL. And, and you know, it, it'll... So, but he's he's doing it anyway. Good for you. That's what I mean. That's nice. It's good to see. Uh, what were the other... Uh, Steph. I found the statement you were looking for. Oh, can you tell me what? But remember that other thing you read before the other. What were all the? I got the Pittsburgh. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. Let me just scroll right there. Uh, some players from Baltimore Ravens and New England Patriots, Cleveland Browns, and Cleveland Jackson, Cleveland Browns and okay. Jacksonville Jaguars. Jacksonville. Okay. They took knees uh, at the the Broncos. Half of them knelt down. Mm -hmm. uh, I know the Seahawks didn't come out right. And the Steelers, they didn't come out. So there's a big pushback. What else? You got any other information? Well, well I got that statement that you wanted right now oh, from okay. the CEO, Robert Kraft. Yeah. He said, I'm deeply disappointed by the tone of the comments made by a president on Friday. I'm proud to be associated with so many players who make such tremendous contributions in positively impacting our communities. Their efforts, both on and off the field, help bring people together and make our community stronger. There is no greater unifier in this country than sports. And unfortunately, nothing more divisive than politics. I think our political leaders could learn a lot from the lessons of teamwork and the importance of working together toward a common goal. Our players are intelligent, thoughtful, and care deeply about our community, and I support their right to peacefully affect social change and awareness in a manner that they feel is most impactful. So he supports them. That's why he's a Trump supporter, the owner of the Patriots. So that was also very well. I, I don't know. I thought that was well said. The, for just hearing you read it. Um. So this is this is good to see. This was uh, this is good to see. I love people pushing back, standing up, sticking their finger in the eye of power, especially when that po power is Donald Trump uh, being a fascist, because that's what this is. That's what that's what this is. Uh, him, the government, the head of the government, telling corporations to fire. Employees who aren't sufficiently <laughs> patriotic. By the way, it is super patriotic with Helen Kaepernick. He's actually sticking up for the country and using protests to do it. That's what this country is all about. It's super patriotic what he's doing. That's the ironic thing. So that's how the NFL responded. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the owner... Robert Kraft. The owner of the Jaguars, Robert Kraft, everybody, uh, all the players are getting in on it, half the Broncos, the Jaguars. Good, good, good. That's great. Uh, so uh, hopefully people will start talking. About, and again, what the what the right wing and what the people who are anti-Colin Kaepernick or who are pro-cop bootlickers, what they want to do is distract you from what's actually Colin Kaepernick. He's not protesting the flag. He's not protesting the national anthem. He's protesting the way blacks are treated 
in our criminal justice system. That's what he's doing. He's doing that during the national anthem, silently and respectfully. That's patriotic. Portland, Oregon, the Jimmy Dore Show is coming to the Alberta Rose Theater November 12th. And we're going to Burbank, California, November 6th. And the Hollywood Improv on October 16th. There's a link for tickets right down there. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for all links for all shows.